Hey, Alarm, yes, it's that time again. It's time for uh, Playoff Blood Bowl on the Xbox this time. We uh, It's the last game of round one. Oh, better turn that down. So it's the uh, last game of round one, and um, we're just waiting for them to get on the pitch. Uh, as soon as I say that, there they are. Ice, Ice Baby 2 versus Gypsy All-Stars. That is the game. It is... Is it Kislev and Norse? It's definitely Kislev. I'm sure it's Norse as well. So, uh, should be a good game. I'm trying to find out, really, what um, the inducements are, but nobody's told us. We might have to guess as we go along. I'm hoping um, Space Magic W, my partner in crime, will join us sometime in this um, broadcast. Hopefully. So, while that is... Uh, Thing on, well, oh dear, I've just got loads of messages here. That's typical. Oh god, and my bloody controller. So uh, let's have a look. There we go. So bear with me one second while I just copy and paste this. So everybody knows, all the Xbox community knows, well, all the Xbox community knows it's on. So let's have a look. Um, well, uh, Fisher Pants has definitely gone for a wizard. We know that for a fact. Um, don't really know what else he's gone for. Maybe it was a reroll, maybe. If you only had the two. Um, not exactly sure. Definitely got a wizard though. I thought there was, I thought the uh, the spread was a bit higher than that. To be honest, but I could be wrong. Let's have a look on the on the. Uh, let's have a look. No, no one's told me what inducements have got, so we'll just have to guess. I thought I thought the inducements were about four hundred. If that's the case, just one wizard won't cut it, but. Maybe I've missed something, but they haven't got any extra players, so um, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but we'll see as it goes along, I'm sure. And there, uh, yes, Gimlick's here as well. Nice one, Gimlick. Good to see you, buddy. So, uh, Norse are kicking off anyway, so here we go. It's a high kick to start off with. What's jolly good? Whoa, where is that gone? Um, I think it's gone out on the fall by the looks of it. Nope, it'd help if I was looking at the right way. Well, dear me, I'll tell you what, I will I will eventually get my head straight. Obviously, there's Norse kicking to Kislev. There we go. So they do have the. It's a good. It was a shame. It was a hard kick because it, was a, it looked like it was a good kick. Otherwise, um, but there we go. Wow! And a fireball straight away. No missing here. That is insane. We had a fireball straight away. So for for Norse in there and doesn't take any of them down. Wow! What a start. Look at that. None of them. Not one of them. Crazy move. Well, it would have been crazy if it had got them down, but wow. Whew. Well, I'll tell you what. If I'm the Norse guy, I am really happy right now. Because that, that wizard has gone already and didn't even take one out. That is fantastic news if you're, the, if you're uh, supporting the Norse here. So, uh, yeah, interesting start, to say the least. If it had come off, it would have been good, but uh, oh, very risky early on, and unfortunately this time it hasn't paid off for the Kislev. Obviously the the, uh, the Norse have the extra player as well on the bench when, sorry, the Norse have and the Kislev haven't, so that would be a worry as well. Yeah, that's a crazy start, that is. He was game one, yeah, that was a ballsy move, though, mate. Ballsy. 
Here we go. And, oh, he's killed him! <laughs> who needs a wizard when you've got a guy who can just kill stuff like that? Is the apothecary coming out? No, he isn't! The apothecary says he can die. Wow, we've had a fireball first turn. We've had a death first turn. Come on, guys, put on the show. You're doing well so far. Here comes the bear. Boom! Another injury. The bear takes care of business. Is this going to be apothecary? If not, we're down to 10 plays already. He was thinking about it, but in the end, he says, you know what, you're still only badly hurt. But wow, what a start. What an absolute start. I'm sure Space Magic W would even have smiled if he'd have seen this start. Well, maybe if he didn't walk out after the uh, fireball. But uh, yes, wow. We were just saying, like, Kislev didn't have a bench, and that's a worry. But already they've got the numbers. That is a great start to have two removals after your wizard had failed as well. In spectacular fashion. That is awesome. I, we haven't even had the blitz yet. And here comes the blitz. It's coming all the way around. If we could get this guy out as well. Well, that would be just a, almost a dream start. But no, he rolls a one. Now, is that worth a re-roll? He says it is. He wants that third splatter. And he gets the pow. Now then, are we going to get another armor break? That's what we're all waiting for. Not this time. So uh, Slick Fiskin can just have a, 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 a breathe a sigh of relief there. But what a crazy start this has been. Yeah, Gim, they have one on the bench. They have one on the bench, but already they're down to 10 players for the rest of the game. So it's a huge start for, um, for Kislev. And, oh, he's throwing the ball about. Oh, what is this? And, oh, they're about to play hot potato. Wow. Kislev don't care, do they? No re-roll. Agility 3, we don't care. We'll just lob it. Well, you know. Or agility 4 throw, I should say, to agility 3 catcher. But a great start. The, uh, the Kislev are here to entertain. Now, how on earth do the Norse fight back? Because they will be shell-shocked. Two down already. The good thing is, though, the wizard is now gone. It did nothing. I don't know if there's any Xbox guys out there who can tell me the TV difference between these two teams. I thought it was more than 150. I really did. But all I can see, um, what Fishy Pants, the, the Kislev guy, got was a wizard. But uh, here comes the, the killer. Your vanilla! That sounds good. The killer. Your vanilla. Is he going to pile on? We're all waiting. Bated breath. Pile on. You know you want to. Oh, hey. Come on. Pile on. Probably the right thing to be fair. But. You know. It'd be nice. Ice baby. I was hoping for a bit better. I don't know if. I, I, I don't know if I, I like that move either. Unless he's going to get reinforcements. He's probably one of your best pieces, but he's still only armor 7. And you've marked him up to a Kislev guy. So if he doesn't get any support, this guy's going to get with an assist. He's going to be able to maybe splatter this next. The Yeti's behaving. The Yeti is a hippie. The Yeti is a hippie. Na, 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 na. I look at the chance going early over the Yeti. But what a start. There we go. The Norse going to put some pressure on this Kislev. And that's the problem when you're trying to farm, isn't it? Because if the ball goes loose, now you're under pressure. I can see why he did it. Because if it had caught it, then he would have got a level up. So I, I, do, I understand that. It's a 2 plus and a 3 plus. So more times than not, it's going to should pass. But... I don't like this. I really, really don't like this. This bit here. I don't like it at all. Don't like the marking up your armor 7. I know you've got block. What will help, but... Now I've said that, it'll probably... Dub Skull and cause a turnover or something like that. See, this ain't bad, because, you know... It's 
So let's have a look what Fisher Pants is going to do. I've been told after this game, the the round obviously will have finished, so it will be advanced straight away. So the so we're back onto round two. Will be awesome. So uh, that'll be good. And uh, Tizzle Bizzle and Charles is all coming into the chat now. Then guys, don't know if you saw that amazing first turn from <laughs> Kislev, where they used the wizard, he failed and did not knock any of the four people down, but then he killed one and injured another when he was laying the smack down. So we're off to a fast start in DD. So here comes the bear. Boom! Down he goes. I'd like I'd like him to get a guy well here. To get two dice on this guy. Because he is a guy who, if he gets it right, can remove plays pretty quickly. He's the big danger. But he's going this way instead. Power goes down. Now then. I mean, let's remember, he hasn't picked the ball up yet. And it's he's going without, and he doesn't really matter because he's done it like a boss. They say he's gone without the agility four piece. Mm, it's enticing. Three plus to get through at the moment. Don't know about you guys, but I oh, I, I would be oh. well. I don't, oh, he's failed the GFI. Well, that's. That's not a good start. He's going to have to re-roll that, surely. So he's already been two re-rolls now. He's down to one. Oh, man. What do you do now? You've got to plug this up here. I'd be bringing this guy probably about there. Just to be on the safe side. Because at the moment, this is doable. And again, you may come back to haunt... This might come back to haunt you, this. Don't like that at all. Oh, here, here we go. No messing. I don't like a Yeti. The Yeti's a hippie. Here we go. Ooh. Now then, is he going to try and dodge this guy out, I wonder? Ah, thanks, Tizzle. Oh, this isn't... Oh, this is doable, you know. This is doable getting through here. Three plus isn't that hard, unless you're me. Well played, sir. Still think that would have been better around here. Well, that's, uh, well, yeah, I, think, I suppose it's worth a go. But now with him putting in there, at least it's going to be... In fact, no, it's not, is it? Because he's gone through. He can go right through there. Right through there. Yeah, four plus. I presume the Norse won't even go for that. They'll just uh, reposition. Oh, he does. He does. He, he's an entertainer, isn't he? He's uh, good old fishy pants. I could get used to this. No messing. He's here to entertain. Here he comes. Uh oh, this could be trouble. This could be big, big trouble. Here comes the armor break. Oh, is it a knockout? Oh, it is a knockout. Ivana, two jumper, whatever you want to call him. Jump around. Ivan, ju to jump around. <laughs> He's gone. Oh, man, that, that took a. I probably made that sound higher than it was. I'm well renowned for murdering names up. So that'll that'll help the Norse. They'll feel a lot better after oof, dear me. So 
So the last game of the playoff round one. And then round two will be on. Yes. Anybody playing tonight, let me know. And uh, thank you, Commander Tyson, for the follow. Much appreciated. Don't forget, guys, subscribe to my bloody YouTube channel. Then you'll get all the uh, notifications when the playoff games go on my YouTube channel for you to watch. Link is below the channel. Now then, what is he going to do here? Interesting. Is he going to do the one dicer? He does. Oh, lovely. Have a bit of that. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Bar's a wizard and burns it turn one. Yeah, that's how he rolls. Barrett, that is how he rolls. Now then, Kislev, what are you going to do? You've only got one reroll left as well. That, that's the only really negative. Got off to a good start. Both these teams like to base each other up, don't they? Good old jump up. Gotta love jump up. I always forget jump up. Well, it's when I have to hit something. And on the odd occasion I remember, I usually roll a bloody one anyway. But, um, yeah. Has anyone seen Scott Williams? Has his missus let him out yet? Now then. Interestingly, he puts... <laughs> It puts the ball carrier right next to a blodger. Yeah, yeah, well, why not? Let's live dangerously. And here comes a bear. It's only going to be two dice, though, because you didn't get... Because this, this assist here, buddy, is being cancelled by this thing here. So you need another one in there. Um, he obviously trusts his uh, bear... More than I would trust a big guy. Just feels to me he's just got himself in a bit of a tangle here. That'll help. Have a bit of this, Mr. Gard Norse. Boom, headshot. Just, I don't know, just, 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 oh, what's he going to do with this guy? It just looks a mess to me. Where's gonna go there? Oh, I'd have liked that to have gone splatter, wouldn't he? Oh, he's gone for the reroll. That's his last reroll. That is crazy. The guy just doesn't care. Holy smackaroons! Wow! No messing at all. There is no fear at all in this coach. You don't give a shit. It's as simple as that. He's going to YOLO the rest of the game and he don't care. Wow. Oh man, he's got jump up as well, hasn't he? Oh, well, I was asleep. Bang! Down you go. Wow. Well, that was just crazy. Now he's in a bit of bother. Because that ball carry is not safe at all. <coughs> wow, guys. What do you think of that here? What do you think of that reroll? Let me know in the chat. Is it just me or was that just crazy? That seemed absolutely insane. So, 
Slick Fiskin, he's still got three rerolls. He's sitting prey on his rerolls. No problem. Take a seat. Boom. Man. What a crazy start to this game. I <laughs> did call him Judas. <gasps> Judas. There you can do the jump up. There you go, you see. Have a bit of this. Have it back, Sunshine. Get some piling on if needed. Go oh, on, you know you want to. Come on. Here we go. The people's elbow. And knocks another one out. Good old Zangief. And that's another one gone. So they've lost two. They've lost one? Did they not lose another one earlier? He uses apothecary. Wow! I, I even I didn't see I didn't see that. So for the first knockout, he uses apothecary. Oh, that didn't help. That won't help at all. Here we go. He's going for the one dice set. Doesn't work. Oh, we get we're getting to see some crazy sh crazy schmozzles here. Smoking a pancake. Wow, this is interesting. And that push means he cannot score next turn either. So Slick Fiskin's very happy. He's all right. He's saying, you know what? I'm just going to do a bit of this. It wouldn't surprise me if this guy just goes and just throws it to this guy here and he just leaps into the end zone just for the fun of it. That would not surprise me the slightest. The way this game's gone. So no apothecary, no rerolls, but he does have the ball. But one mistake now, and it could be game over. Here we go. He needs this to work. Does enough. Hell, why not? Let's push into the bear. You are, burr. Now then, how much will that bent reroll cost him? Tazel saying that's par for Fisher. Fisher likes to do the crazy stuff. And here we go. What did I say? He may get the pass. Here you go. Fell like good scummy. Touchdown. Yeah, baby. Go on. Leap into the end zone because that just makes it a lot cooler. We want a leap. We want a leap. We want a leap. Oh, here we go then. We have uh, action over here now. This is risky when you've got no block and no rerolls. <sighs> He's certainly testing Nuffle's patience here. Can you imagine Space being in this chat now? I think he would have... Uh, he would have been very... <laughs> unconsolable. But here we go! Another armor break! Oh, it's just a stun! Oh, wow. So, Scotty saying he's going to be about 10 minutes. So, Scotty's Space Magic W. So, he'll be on. Oh, he's missed so much good fun, though, hasn't he? He's missed all the fun. What did I miss? Did the bear get slapped? Oh, man. You should have scored. Oh, dear. Both down. Oh, dearie me. It was there. It could have been 1-0 up. 
Put the pressure on the Norse. But one block too many. I told you Nuffle's patience was, patience was wearing thin, didn't I? Dearie, mate. Here comes a nice big punch in the face. In fact, I'd just pile on there. He might as well. I mean, what's he going to do otherwise? Especially when you're down on numbers as well, you want to try and even up a bit. Tell you what, the Kislev have got to get really lucky here. Really lucky. And he ain't going to get lucky unless the ball lands in his lap. And there we go, it's an armor break as well. Have a bit of that for trying to stall. And he, oh, he had a chance to catch it as well. He had a chance to be a hero, did Anton, Antu, Antari. But he failed. Now we've got a serious problem. No re-rolls. More Norse around the ball. Man, this is what you get for not scoring. Can't really have any sympathy for him, can you, really? you got no block, no re-rolls. You're throwing two dies. Like it's bloody Christmas. So. Bear with me, my, my son's just asking, does he get his real rolls back for the second half? I said, yes, he does. So. Because he's he's a bit concerned that he's got no re rolls, but yes, he does get them back second half. He's put himself in a right mess here, hasn't he? Really has put himself in a mess. Well, you've got to try and get your bear up. Oh, double skulls. Have a bit of that. Nuffle is saying, why wasn't the bear picked up on Bray? Just for that, have another double skull. Nuffle is not happy. And I don't blame him. I thought when he's going to put him there, I thought he was going to blitz with this guy so he gets the three dice. Well, it would make a lot more sense. And he's got Mighty Blow. But Ice Ice Baby 2 are in a great position here now. Oh, there comes the pow. Oh, love, look at that. How lovely is that? Ball bounces to your runner, and he's going to be off to the races now. Oh, nice and easy. This game could be all over before, before Space Magic actually turns up. But again, you see, for anyone out there, when you've got no re-rolls... And you know if you cause a turnover, it's going to lose you the ball. Don't bother with the blocks. Just score. It could have been 1-0 up now. And now it looks like it's going to be 1-0 down, unfortunately. I mean, he can bleep and then blitz at the moment. If he doesn't get put on his backside, then he does have a bit of that. And this is becoming a nightmare. Oh, that's a lucky bit of luck. Oh, field double dodge. And a stun as well. Well, that's good because then that now frees this guy up. This guy, oh god, he, oh god. Well, he, he has no fear, this player. He may just blitz him. He may just go, you know what? He might just go, Leroy Jenkins. He just might do that. Well, 
best thing to do is get your players up who you're not going to dodge with. That's probably going to be the best thing. You've got three guys here who could really clog up these three dudes. So that's probably your best thing to do first off. Well, okay. Well, that guy does have jump up, but the thing is, he's got guard. So, oh, here we go. Right over it. That's nicely played. Nicely played, sir. Keep there. You can get two more dice on them. But I do something with this guy first. Come on, fishy. He's got to be moved first before you do anything else, fishy. Move this dude. Has to be moved, good lad. Like it. That's what we need to see. Give it give this guy something to worry about. You've got to get this guy up. I think you'd have to get this guy up. I mean, if he really wants... It would, that guy would have to... Oh, God. It'd be JFR, wouldn't it? There's a guard there. We can see what he does. Yeah, it's not going to get in out though, buddy. It's going to be a one dicer only. I think, I think uh, this poor bear, uh, since that both knocked down, I think he's had enough of this guy. He said, right, you're not getting up. Disgust me. You cost me TD! And there was a dodge being come from this guy instead. Wow. Didn't move this guy. This guy needed to move it. Oh, can't another jump. God, there's a lot of jumper players in these teams. These teams. Oh dear. Crazy shenanigans going on here. He needs some luck, does uh, Fisher Pants now. Gotta move. Oh, God. Just gotta move the safety pieces first. Especially we've got no rerolls. This guy stood there as criminal. And, and this poor bear, well, I don't think he's gonna pick him back up. I think he's disgusted with him. Oh, this is a nice player. Have a bit of that. Boom. Well, he's not broke his armour, so he's still going to have to be the one to come around here and boom for one dice. <laughs> Three plus dodge, one dice set, and I think there might even be a GFI in there as well. Oh, one dice has failed the first time, doesn't the second have a bit of that. Now where is he going to put this other one, this other fella here? Lovely. Got to like that player. Have a bit of that. Yes, he's doing his job. This is now looking very dominant by the uh, the Norse now. They've got a stranglehold on this game. That is for sure. I mean, it all started off... Well, I say it started off very well. I mean, obviously, the, 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 the wizard failed. But then they got two removals first turn. And you'd think, wow. Advantage them, but... He should have scored, but went with a block with a, a loner. We know rerolls, we know block. 
And since then, it's gone the other way. I'm not. Does anyone know who who, who the play is? It Trofega, the player, the winner, by any chance? That's sort of stuck in my head. Could be wrong. No, that's no. It's not, is it? This is on the second page. Don't know if I don't know if the winner plays. Is it sort of police guy? Battalions. And all of a sudden, now he starts moving his players up. He's got it all to do second half. Definitely got it all to do second half. Oops. There we go. He needs some more removals. Can this be another removal for him? Nope. That poor bear. It's been on the floor. I mean, why would you not pick your bear up? I just don't get it. The officer's still disgusted with it after causing a turnover. Again, that's just a one dice. This is what this is the player. One, two, three, bang. That's his only logical player to make. It's gonna t take a bit. Three plus, two plus, one die. Hey, the bear's up. Go on, bear. Well, that is the only... Oh, he's going for the JFI. Why not? Here we go. Can he do some more damage? He needs damage. I've got a feeling he needs to break this guy. He does. Is it a removal? No, just a stunt. I think that's his best chance to get himself back into this game in the second half is to get some removals, I think. Then that's his... Here we go. And the whole kids left just don't dodge very well. And uh well you had to try it. But again, this is why you gotta be careful with your rerolls. You burn them willy nilly like he did, you're in trouble. Yep, yeah, I agree, Chelsea. Totally. Burning them rerolls just has come back to bite me in the backside. And uh, thank you to uh, Ferret for subscribing, buddy, on my YouTube channel. You the man. Wise decision. You'll get all my content on there. They'll let you know when it's all on. And obviously it's free. Everybody likes free. I'll tell you what, you do these games, stream them, and then the admins and everything just come flying up. What does my admin... Team one, bear with me. My apologies, guys. Okay. Oh, God. All right then. Yeah. Two JFRs to make him do at least a block or a dodge. That's about as good as he's gonna get now. And he's still got a reroll. You guys are lucky you might get the wisdom and the excitement of Space Magic for the second half. Oh, here he says, chuck me an invite. Did, well, I already have space, but I'll trick you another one, Sunshine, while we're not missing real much, are we? So just bear with me, guys, while I uh, send him an invite. So uh, he's blitzing something. My apologies if you're going to miss it. But hey. Got to get space in. And it's a break of arm of some sort. 
what it is, I don't know, but we will have a look in a moment. You might be able to see it. Just a stun, I think, wasn't it? Oh no, KO! What do I know? There you go, I've sent him an invite. Here he is. Oh man, you'd have loved the first half. <laughs> you'd have loved would it. I have, would I have? Would I though? Is that like a, I'd have loved it, or is that like a I'd have shit a kitten? Oh mate, first, first, first action. Fireball on four Norse. Didn't take anything down. He then oh, killed. Oh, the fireball. Oh yeah, he Brilliant. killed the Norse, and then he injured the Norse. Oh, right. Everything was looking good, but he was burning rerolls like just for, for the fun of it, and oh, he had a chance right. to score. He had no re-rolls, no block or anything, and just kept throwing blocks. He got both down, and this is why the Norse have the ball. I was thinking of you, I thought, God, you'd have loved this. And uh, when the really okay. important stuff is being needed to be done, he's had no re-rolls left. So, uh, Amazing. Yeah, you'd have loved it. I, I, I was gutted because I, I, I was waiting for your wonderful wisdom of when he was doing this stuff. But apparently it sounds fishy. like my, my kind of blood ball. Oh, yeah. Fishy apparently is well known for it. But, um, yes. Oh, okay. It's uh, not looking good for him. It's going to be 1 0, and, um, yeah, the Norse will, will receive in the second half as well. Oh, and he, he left oh, his. Okay. I tell you what, he even left his bear on the floor for three turns for no reason. That was, you'd love that. Oh, just didn't didn't yeah. fancy moving him then. No, nope, no. Nope. To be fair, though, it was the All bear right. what did the both down, so maybe he was punishing him. You know, he put him on the notice. Hmm. It's, uh, it's, it's questionable behaviour. Mm. Oh, I'll be honest. Mm. Right, so what, what are we on? Like, I've just caught up to turn eight. That is what we are on, uh, turn eight. And it is Kislev turn eight. It is, yes. I am now oh, on two sick, minutes and seven seconds. Oh, we are, we are synced, Bernie. What is happening? Fantastic. See, that's how professional we are together. Right. We get it synced straight away. Right, let's check out these glorious bastards then. Tizzle Bizzle saying it should be 1-1. One, one. Well, it could have been okay. just one nil tizzle, to be fair, if it had scored. Instead of uh, too busy showboating and messing about. So Kislev have received and cocked this, haven't they? Yeah, Kislev they're, have... They're conceding in there. Yeah. Right. So Kislev needs to mm. some of your words of inspiration. Stop being shit. There you go, there's your words of inspiration. <laughs> do better. <laughs> Must do better. Score more goals. Absolutely. Now then. Well, you've got to push, mate. You can't do anything that. else. <laughs> He's just thinking, maybe if I should just put myself down or just push him. Yeah. Maybe, maybe he was doing that. Skills. Maybe he was just thinking if he should follow or not. This is a, like a really non-developed Kislev team. Yeah, I that's, don't think he's played badly any games, to be honest. Um there's about roughly about 200 maybe, or just under 200 difference, and he got a wizard, like I said, he, he burnt it first turn. I mean, if it had come off, maybe right. it would have been really well, but I'm never a big fan of... Did the Norse ball. not have a deep bench? Is that why he did it? Did no, they but they had one player. Players? They had one player, so 12 yeah. players. Oh, he uses a pot carry and knocked out as well, did uh, Gypsy All-Stars. First knockout, he was like, damn, that's not going off, I'm going to apothecary that. Oh, uh, okay. I'm sure well, you know. I don't know who Fishy Pants is. I know, I know Slick. Slick's okay. Yeah, um, Slick. I don't know Fishy. Oh, look at that. Oh, white men can't jump. Dear me. And he's have you, down. Have you, uh, have you done that joke many times in this show? Nope, Bernie? that's the first one, buddy. Nope, that's the first one. Buddy. All right, you get one. <laughs> you get one. <laughs> <laughs> then that's it. Oh, dear. Mm. Well, it looks like it's been a big old clusterfuck because people are positioned all over the shop here. There's no That's, kind of like yeah, you know, when been... a defense breaks <laughs> down or something, and you can you can at least tell what's been going on. Like the guy tried to go this way, yeah. and this one, there's just fellas all over the shop having yeah. a dance. Yeah, it's been your kind of game, mm. mate. It's been your you 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 would have appreciated this game. I have seen Norse twice now when we review commentating and been a bit angry at both times. So maybe <laughs> maybe it's a theme. <laughs> oh dear. But um, I, I mean, he's got the re-roll, so I suppose he, he can slap a few, but I need to punch mm. it in. 
the playoff game, forget forget the farming, just get it done. If the uh, Kizzle had done done it that way, they would be one nil up, not one nil down. So what was it? Was he was he home free and just oh yeah yeah it, it passed oh, yeah. it and oh, um, mate, yeah Oyster was score. Oyster was score, but he said, you know what? I'll throw another three blocks, and the third block was above down, and that was it. He had no reroll, you see. Oh. So. That disgusts me. I'll be honest. I was thinking of you. Well, like stuff like that, you, you 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 wouldn't bank on him to overturn him, would you? Then, if that's how he's done it in this first half. Mm -hmm. And I also have like one guard, so he does that. Guard makes all the difference with the leaps. So yeah. There we go. This is always an interesting thing when people score like that. <sighs> snorry, snorry, oh, snorry. Yes. The USA pants on, or the other right, of, in the US. You, uh, of all the games you commentate on, do you, do you bring me specifically into the ones that are going to annoy me? Like, not the glorious <laughs> kind of, like, like, big teams hitting big teams. You go, no, look, like, let's bring in Scott for, like, the discount teams. Let's go, oh, all right, then. <laughs> well, to be fair, the only ones, the only three I've covered so far is the two Norse games, and the only other one I covered was your game. So it's not like I could announce... You, yeah. You know what I mean? It's... But it's, it's if they let us oh, know, isn't it? Cover, uh, yeah, we need to cover um, Rambo and Mutt. Yeah, that's going to be the one I think that's going to going to be a fun one to watch. Yeah, that'll be a good one. I will have mixed feelings on that as well because obviously Rambo knocked me out. But yeah. like, do you want the guy that gets that knocks you out to go out, or do you want him to win the whole thing so you can say, well, I lost to the champ? Well, I, anyway, I, I don't want to mention the word lost. I want them both to kill each other, but I'll be cheering on Rambo just because he I predicted him to go to the final. Right. So, oh, yeah. No, I've done mutt, isn't it? So we can actually have a, a clash. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I just thought, you know, I'll go a bit different. I thought, you know what, with all that kill, he might be able to pull it off against mutt. I mean, he will have to kill a lot of his players yeah. or take him out to have a chance, but I don't know. To be fair, he's got a good, good odds on it, hasn't he? Like, mm. if, if when you've got all that club, might blow you want arm um, nine guys that, that normally would just space you up. Yeah. And that's what I thought it was a good matchup for the Nagel, to be honest. Yes, it is. He's got not too bad. Um, what? Who does he play? Who do they play after that? Um, it is I can't, I can't the Tertians. Mm. Um, or I don't know if it's one of these two guys <laughs> off the top of my head. It could be. <laughs> well, well, somebody's licking their lips watching this. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I've, I've got the uh, goblins in round two. The bloody goblins, man. Uh, yeah, you and your, you know, really difficult fucking Lord of the Rings star quest at the top, a.k.a. you've just stepped in an elevator and gone straight there. <laughs> oh, don't know why you're about. Hey, goblins will be really hard. <laughs> I wish I I wish I could have played the Nagel yeah. instead. That would have been a lot easier with all them inducements. Mm. But no, I have to get yeah, 600 yeah. inducements up to goblins, I tell you. Which is absolutely fine to do. <gasps> At the end of the day, they're all strength too. That is not true. Them trolls hit hard. And the chainsaws. Mm, and the fanatics. Do you like the, um, the, you know, like this, the splitting of the three guys in the centre? Uh, not really. Or would you rather keep them together? I like to keep them together unless. Do you think splitting reason. like minimises the? the three dice blocks and stuff because you can do some stuff there but I don't know I, I, the only time I'll split is if I'm against like the Beast of Nagel or something what can tie three players up with one piece that's the only use of time yes, I usually yeah. like to split Tentacle, them otherwise tentacles yeah. and stuff like that yeah, yeah. or, or tre treatment trying to do some kind of treatment as well one turn defence yeah. or something you can yeah. uh, split them yeah treatment's the other one. one thing that's really bugging me go on and that's just mostly D kicking in because their defence isn't even that annoys me like, that's not a real thing. I'm just really annoyed that the players are oddly placed on both sides. <laughs> yes, get it sorted. Now, how many players have we got on each team anyway? Three, six, ten on, ten on that side. How many have we got on the other side? Crikey, four, eight, ten. Ten against ten. So ten, ten on ten. So they can't be blaming the numbers. And honestly, that's be the only time that we're ever going to say ten on ten in this game. Yeah. Because we're not going to be rating the plays that. <laughs> I, mean, I mean that in the nicest possible way. <laughs> I don't. I really don't. You don't. Oh, dear. 
Oh, has he got a bludge ball carrier as well? Yeah, so even if they leap in, like yeah. he's looking for one dice powers, isn't it? Mm. That's 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 a tall order. Yeah, that's that's why you really need to score when he did. I mean, I was like, oh my god, you've got to punch it in, and he just just wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, just don't take any chances. No. Where well, are these guys? Um, are these legit? Um, what do you call it? Like wild card entries, or are these for the ones we've had to substitute? Mm, pass. I think I think Slick Fiskin is because Leeds United they were pulled in late, so I think this right. North team definitely are. Um, yeah. Kislev, possibly, but it's a very mm. well, very, yeah, Kislev. Because like, not great. Many, uh, what is it? Kislev teams were there. Yeah, I think a many. few of the people that had decent kids left teams were actually the ones that like had other teams in it. Yeah, yeah, I think that I think that's basically what it was. But um, yeah, he's just just frustrated because you I don't like this. You, I don't oh. like the, uh, the the yeti. You know, like obviously he's seen that uh, bear behind him, but he's mm-hmm. based the guy in front with the yeti. So if the yeti blocks, he's going to go on to the bear. Yeah. So sure, surely you'd want the Yeti with the friends and one of these guys where he can wander off and not worry about being twatted by my blow. <laughs> you'd think so. <laughs> but hey, you didn't see the first half, buddy. You didn't see the first half. That's why you still saying. I know, saying. I know. I, I, I got delayed. I, th- I, I think you've you probably know. saved your life, buddy. To be I'm fair. unprofessional. Yeah, I, I, I'm always quite close to death. So yeah. I don't want to push it. <laughs> do you remember seeing that show <laughs> this is going to be controversial for anyone who's not English uh, do you remember seeing that TV show called The Peep Show yes you sound like that guy from The Peep Show I was trying to wonder what your your voice sounds like which 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 one well, there's more than one person in that show well there's, 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 there's two main characters isn't there there's the tubby one and then there's the, the, like this the yeah. straight face dude. There's a um, Mich- 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 Michelin web, isn't it? Like yes. Something Mitchell or something. Web. That's right. And then there's. Well, I thought you might be saying I might be like super hands or something like the. No. The extravagant drug addicts because I'm so <laughs> vibrant and, and no. outlandish with how I speak. No, you All sound right, exactly then. like that guy. Yeah, you know, you know the thin like one of the, the two. grumpy fat one. No, the, oh, other one. the thin one. All yeah. Right. Jez. Jez. Yeah, that's the one you sound like. He's like an incompetent man. Are you. What are you implying? <laughs> I just say, you just sound like him. You like got this image. One, I can accept it. <laughs> mm. You play it back and then play your voice back, and it's almost identical. It's like your twins. Well, I, I never knew my voice was how it was, and so I started listening to it. The stuff we've done, I didn't realise I sounded quite as posh as I do sometimes. It's like Jesus, go, really see. common as well. Yeah, I am. But my voice is like that. I think our I think our um, accent was voted the worst in England, so it was like, yeah, yeah, that's that's nice, thanks, thanks for that. By some sort well, of like Yorkshire Hull or something. Yeah, Hull, yeah, Hull. See, I'm quite posh because I pronounce it with a H. Hull. Yeah, Hull lad, Hull. Well, well Hull. done, Hull. But I'm quite posh. I say Hull with a H. Everyone else says Hull with a U. Well, we in we in Leicester can't do uh, like T R. So instead of like Leicester, it's like Leicester. Leicester. That's our thing. <laughs> Just change change an E R for an A. That's how we roll. Yeah, the, the way you, you do, the way you find out if people are from Hull, you just tell them to say five, and we say five. We can't say five, five, say five. Oh, wait up! Here comes, here comes the bear. Don't re-roll it. He's thinking it. He's thinking it. Okay. Good job, you. You telepathically told him not to there, because that would have been. He's only used one re-roll already this half. I mean, oh my! He just, he just uses them like they're going out fashion. Jesus! Do the kids left start with two re-rolls? Three. He had three. I'm sure he did. Really? What's he used his re- Has he used the re-roll this half? GFI, was it? Surely was it GFI? Oh, yeah, yeah. But even free starting with Kislev is, is, is a tough ask. When I do starting teams, I start with four. I feel like whenever you're doing everything on freeze constantly, you're going to need more than three re-rolls. Really? I, I, I usually go for three. I try not go two. I usually go three. I mean, Kislev, obviously, with the league. I think... I think... Yeah, I think Kislev and Vampires are the kind of ones that break the rule of three yeah. rolls kind of theory. Yeah. I think because they're, 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 you have to do more things with them a lot of the time and you roll more dice so I can forgive people for having more re-rolls then. Yeah, Yeah, but again, he's down to two re-rolls already and... Oh, dear. It's not looking good. Well, the thing about it is, is was that 
Yeah, was that your GFI even necessary? No. Nope. That one to go further forwards. I don't think so. I'd have just let it. I'd have just let it go myself. It's not like he's going to score, is it? Not from where he is. So. No, he's got no block anywhere, so you're nope. going to end up needing that reroll at some point. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Here comes the basin up. <laughs> Why? Yeah, well, I like, you know what I like? I like basing up on some that can block you within two squares at the edge, and then the frenzy guy just takes you off. <laughs> I'm always into free. I'm, I'm, into, I'm into free surfs. Why not? Uh, I was like, are you going to say Treat that? Just in case he's listening, but you're like, yeah, straight to the point. Yeah, I was like, yeah, well, um, what can you do with to be fair, See, that, I think... that basin, I'm yeah. not, I'm not, I'm, oh no, he's leaked in. I was going to say that basin was alright, because yeah. if the guy frenzies you, he frenzies you into assists, so you can frenzy trap yourself to the yeah. level, he's ending up committing more players to it, but he's, just as I was about to give some praise, he's he's gone further forwards. <laughs> I mean, to be fair to him though, he did say that the, he's quite a newish coach, you know, he's, he's not an expert, oh, yeah. so... Yeah. You know, it's all in jest. It's, it's all part of my character, isn't it? Yeah. We, we, we need characters, apparently. We you do. told me that. We do. So, we need, we yeah. need did you Did you, did you hear Bob Cass getting spanked 3-0? Wow. I watched it, mate. As soon as you Tell said, you. I, I was on it like a, like a whippet. I was in there going, oh, I was jizzing everywhere. It, it was like, like watching... Attacked by a ghost. It was like playing... In, it, it just like does Drick the Champ versus a noob. I can't think I can put it any other way. It was just... He he pulled him apart so much. Like, I was watching it going, he's gonna like draw him to the left and then immediately yeah. switch back to the right. And yeah. I was like, I was actually disappointed that Kaz fell for it. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, I slack him off a bit, but I, I you know I, I still think he's good at the game. Yeah. But I was really surprised he just went with it and just fell for it. Yeah, I mean, I, I saw what Drix was doing, and um, and Cass was like, I'm like, where are you going? Where are you going? No, don't go there. And then he's like, bye. I'm like, oh my god. I mean, it's hard to keep tabs with with Skaven, but. You've got to be aware, you yeah. know what to do, and but you can't chase them. You can't like, no. just go chasing them. You just have to set up in a way that whichever way they go, you can reach them. Yeah, it's. I mean, it was difficult. I mean, his setup was wrong because um, obviously I think he got defense blitz, and you know, it yeah, from there he, he then... didn't take into account, did it? No, and then his second setup was just as bad as the first setup, so he didn't really learn from the first setup. And, yeah, yeah, I think the second set when I watched it, it looked it looked like a salty set because all he did was move a guy one square further, further back. He's just like, <laughs> oh no, I've got this. That was just a rare kind of yeah. fluke that that happened. And, oh, oh no, wait, I'm two 0 down. Never mind. <laughs> Tell you what, this is what I don't like is why he's got it. a piling on guy. You saw you you totally dominant mm. pile on man. Get stuck in. Yeah, I, I think pile on when you've got jump up is one of those almost no brainer yeah. ones. I mean, I sit in there, it just gets back It's up. not going to affect your movement, you can still nope. go. Exactly. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, we, we've got... This could be in the business what's known as a potato. Potato. I don't know, a couple of dodges, and if you go for it, you can effectively cage up. But why put yourself in that position? There maybe he's go. confident. Yeah. Complacency, maybe saying yeah. Who knows? He's uh, he's covered the one guy that can jump out on a two or more. Well, he can just jump over the top of him anywhere. Woo! Yeah. He can't touch this. Yeah. David tackle, motherfucker. No need for a roll here, unless you want me to throw something at the TV. <laughs> It's the you know, it's a five plus dodge. I can do it. I can do it on a five plus dodge. It works almost every single it's time. Get a message Whoa! Coming, coming through saying how go. much is your TV worth? It's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. right then. He's going. God damn it, space! I was gonna re-roll that. No, look, it's a knockout. God damn it! It's your fault, space. Well, and I'd have been saying, well, you know what? You're diving tackle, mate. What do you expect? It was a five plus anyway. And now he's got Easy jump up. on the ball here. Yeah. Oh, don't say that to him. Don't say that to him because you're gonna be disappointed. Here we go. Well, I say easy. It'll it, it revolve a two up, a three up, and mm. actually roll in the two dice. Yeah. Now then, there's potential to get this ball carrying. He, he cannot afford to be two nil down because it's game over. It's two nil down. That is that is certain. But um, you know, he's, he's, he can yeah, this guy well, on a two plus. He's got this guy here on a jump yeah. up. He's got this guy. Oh, he's got plenty of options. Well, you know. 
you could free dive, you could arguably free dive with the bear, free up the guy that's next to the bear on a really yeah. kind of safe way of freeing somebody up to either mm-hmm. do the blitz or cancel out the assists. Then you've got your agi four guy for the actual assist and jump up man comes in like a beast. Yeah. I imagine it was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Be interesting to see how he goes. Here we go. Could even see the bear here. Mm-hmm. Three dice. You can see the most inappropriate bonehead ever. <laughs> oh no! No. What, 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 what's happened here? What, why, have we, why have we done this? Does the bear have break tackle or not? I don't realise. It doesn't. No. no, the bear doesn't have break tackle. Okay. Okay. Does understand the man's agility one, doesn't he? <laughs> but it gets plus one to the dodge. <laughs> yeah, and 30% of the time, that works every time. Absolutely. Now, now you're talking. Anyway, the, the bear said to just shut up. Oh, this is what I was going to do. I did slap him silly. Watch this. <gasps> Boom! Headshot. Mm. There you go. Knockout. We're on a roll. So we're working with some leaps, is the, isn't it? Yeah. This is, this is, this is a two leaps and a blitz. He can do it, though. He can do it. Mm. He can do it. It's just... If he one, two, three, wants to. Four. Yeah. We got it with that that jelly four piece has got to leap straight off. Put him right that top right diagonal. Oh, oh and it's a God. dodge instead, is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, dodged? seven. Maybe he's going for the dodge. Maybe getting dodge GFI instead of the leap. I mean it, that I don't necessarily hate that because it's still two to what it's the same thing. Because if you leap you'd have to have dodged out of that guy's uh, tackle zone anyway. There we go. It's one dice. Oh, it's just a one no. dice. Oh no, no, and he's down he goes. Why, why? Oh. Ready diamond tackle piece. Oh, mate, that was you. Oh man. So if he had just done it the other way, he could have had two diamond tackle pieces on him. Yeah. And then you know, at least if the one schools or double schools then Yeah. And now you got A V seven guys getting hit by Mike probably piling on. Boom! Definitely Headshot. pile on here. He what though, because he'll want the two dice with this guy. Nope, okay. Nope. Sound corrected. Oh, he's oh, yeah. dead! Man dead! Oh, lovely. Hey, Man use dead. the apothecary. You can't because you use it on a knockout. So he is dead. Oh, that is dead, the most dead, brutal dead, of punishments for a, a misplay there. Yes. Have a bit of that. No sympathy. Nuffle. He's, he's annoyed mm, Nuffle in the first half it. and uh, Nuffle just annoyed him. Well, he's got a GFI, one dice on a blodger if he really wants it at the moment. That would be a jump up guy. But this guy, he should really bring round, to be fair. Snorri, Sigurd, so oh, yeah, he's... Well... Just bring him round. Yeah. Probably... Job done. He's covering that, isn't it? Then you can chain push him after you knock this guy down. And put him right next to uh, the, uh, the jump up dude. You'd think. Yeah. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Right, and this guy, can anyone else get to him? That's what you're asking. Nope. Not know. not physically hit him. No. But that that hasn't. He can still be hit by that jump up guy. I tell you what, that's really. Why why did he do that? I don't get. You'd, that. you'd think he'd have pushed the Norse guy once yeah. where behind him or something. Yeah. He could, he could have got it, so it would have been two dodges or a leap to get past him. Now it's just a free mm-hmm. run and hit. And even if he doesn't get him down, he's got diving tackle, what'll help. Someone's stunned somewhere. Here we go, right down here. But he's back in almost the same position as last time, actually. Only this one's easier. Because mm. it's just... Uh... Free go for it, isn't it? Really, if, as long as that guy there say it stays up next to the bear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and he's off. He's off. Wow, Beautiful. with preemptive tail as well. <laughs> I don't care. It's gonna go. Oh, 
There we go, the claws are going to come into action here. Have a bit of this. Boom. Did. Your dog get involved in that then? <laughs> it's, my, it's my son. <laughs> What's so, it? Yeah, he's going boom. I'm sorry that I confused your child with an <laughs> animal. Then. That's, that's not right, is it? <laughs> your dog botherer. Oh dear. Oh, oh wait, you, you, yeah, you want to go out the back garden and make sure cats isn't in the bushes waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Just him covered in body paint with a tub of Vaseline. <laughs> it's a scary prospect, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure you'll be delighted if you're getting first round in the season there. Good old uh, 10 for the cash as well. I think it's given, isn't it? Well, I hope you get him. I don't want re-roll. You, 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 you have to go for this here, don't you? You just have to. Yeah. Good lad. Now then, here we go. Yeah. Thing so is, three up dodge. Is, go for it. But he's two, two for it. jump up though as well. He's going to do the jump up done, isn't he? Yes, that is true. No, no, jump up, you only roll the two up if it's a block. Well, that's what he's going to be um, doing. If it's just move it. Ah, right, so if it's a blitted after, right, okay. Yeah, yeah, so if he wanted to block the guy in front of him, it would be a two up, but because yeah. he's just dodging out, it's straight and it's fine. Do we do, do we think he's going to blitz, though? That's the thing. <laughs> you, you're presuming he's going to blitz. Uh, oh. let's get, yeah, that's it, get, get the cover in. Yeah, this is a good play. The thing is, like... He doesn't necessarily have to re-roll the hit if he gets it, does he? No, because he got can just push tackle. him to the side and rely on the tackle. I mean, but that's a five up with a re-roll, so fifty percent of the time that works. But this is this is the game really for him. He's got a he's got no option but to re-roll it if need be, in my opinion. Unless he's thinking, fuck it, I'm just going to blitz with the bear and then free up the dive into that guy. No, no, he is. So on this guy. Come on then, matey. No. Come on, Zangief. He's going to be all on Zangief. He's actually called Zangief, he is. He's actually called Zangief. Yep. Here we go. What's it? He's just dancing on my Oh, there we go! He's on the, the lead. Lead. Yeah, lovely. So it's I like it. Oh, that right, lovely. You just have to block diagonally, mate, towards the touchdown line. Oh, no! Oh, oh that's cruel! Oh, You've got to re roll oh, it! You've mate. got to! You've got you to have to! You have to! Yes! Here we go! No! Oh, my word. Oh, my word. No! No! <laughs> The kids are all involved in everything. Yeah, it's behind you. Not anymore. It's fell over. Oh dear, that was cruel on the poor guy. Well. See, the thing is, right? He was doing something right there, the right way it should be, and he still got punished. Yep, he got he got done. Here comes the jump. Only thing would have been is like that one. Uh... That one kids that got at the back near the truck, near the uh, yeti should have gone and covered that jump up guy to stop anything weird happening there. In case like, he did yeah. fail. Like, like this. And this will be game set and match. Two nothing. Unless he tries to do something fruity. Well, I, I recommend don't. I, I recommend don't. No, you just score. Yeah, we go. Oop, we're doing it in your face. I'm going to walk along the touchdown line. Yeah, cool. and I'm going I'm to stamp like all of your badge. Yes, there you go. He likes to work out this fella. Look at them muscles. Lovely. That's got a bit weird, Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do like a weird pervy lovely afterwards. Like, <laughs> lovely. Uh, you know, we, we, you know. Got to make sure all the viewers are happy. Yeah. You're really, really going for the niche markets now, aren't you? <laughs> That's what you're aiming for. Absolutely. Now then, oh, that's it, put your Yeti there. Yes, yeah, right in front of the bear. Fantastic, that sounds good. Nothing bad will happen, trust me. Well, depending on like how much money he's actually got, like the Yeti is arguably one of the, the least useful players now, isn't <gasps> he? He's awesome, is the Yeti? He's got claw. Oh, fuck that. Oh, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeti. Yeah. Yeti. What's a Yeti? That big white thing there. You know, thing where we, you know that song we sing where we say, Yeti is a hippie, Yeti is a hippie, na-na-na-na. No, no? never heard that. You never heard that one? 
Well, we was I like the... how even your kid's shutting you down, Bernie. With your oh, he, he shuts me down now. all the time. He shuts me down all the time, does code stuff. But yeah, we chant that song on the PS4, and it, it, what happens is when we sing that song, the, the Yeti always rolls ones for some bizarre reason. So... Are hippies renowned for rolling ones? I don't really I don't get know. the... Uh... I don't know. The reference. I don't know. Say suggests one of the admins on the PS4 called him a hippie. As soon as they called him a hippie, he kept rolling ones. So we just thought we'd start singing Yeti, you know, the Yeti is a hippie. And they just kept rolling ones or double skulling. So we just thought it was funny. I don't think there's any relevance mm. apart from it upsets the Yetis. So we'll see. Okay. Let's kind of just go through the motions here unless he two turns and somehow Maraxi gets the ball back, but with no re rolls and his agility four guy dead. Mm, it's really, that's a problem. Really unlikely. But we'll see. You'll be happy, Bernie. I think um, I think my uh, chaos team's finished now in the current champs ladder, so I don't think I'll be searching anymore. You uh, don't have to worry about that anymore. Well, yeah. To be fair, like my necro being like a ray. You know, my necro was too low anyway, so I'd have been quite safe. Yeah, well, I'm happy. I'm normally happy to wait for people to get to like fifteen hundred and go. All right, you're in my house now. Oh, that's it. You see, you, you dare take them on at the normal TVs. You have to try and get an advantage. That sounds suspicious, like cast him cast to me. No, I'm just implying like that's the only time I'll actually come across you. All oh, right, okay. Because it took me about three days to find the game until last night, and I managed to get on a nice little spree. Did you? I don't know. Mm. You big bully, you. Yeah, I went for a little. I went for a little bit of a drawing spree for some reason. I had like four draws in. It. Yeah, yeah, I went. For, I drew like four times in a row, and some of them really irritate me. But you know. <laughs> Really? This you? Isn't, this isn't the winter, this isn't the winter twine. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. That's not like you. I don't know. I, saw, I see you where got the guy um, who beat you banned, didn't you? Is it Micro Medusa or something? Give them bogus concedes to get him banned. Oh, Medio. Yeah. Medio Medusa. Is that who yeah. got banned? I, didn't, I know yeah, the, somebody yeah, was, I, was saying I, something I, about I, it. Yeah, that, he, he beat you and that was it. You went to the high powers and got him banned. I had a word. I think mm. it, it, it wasn't necessarily me, just people looked at it and went, mm, that's not justice, get rid. And that's what happened. <laughs> this yet is going to get banged. <laughs> oh, it is as well. Oh dear, mighty oh, blow. No. It'll be fine. Boom, there you go. No worries. I mean, it is fine. Absolutely fine. Yeah, never worried. Blitz that nose out of the way, then stamp all of the A. That's what I think. Why not? Are you one of these guys, like, if, you, if you're going out, that you'll, you'll be stamping on people's players to try and um, leave their packs? Not usually. I did actually, in my <laughs> saltiest game ever, when my Necro went out on, on the quarterfinals, I actually just did 10, 16 foul was and like me. But I was so, you know... Son of a bitch. I was, like, really fuming. I was... I've never been so peeved off. And I was really proud I didn't throw the controller because it really should have gone. It really, really should have gone. Um, but, yeah, I did. I don't usually... Um, yeah, hand off in distant presence. Yeah, that's a thing, you know. The amount of people I see do that—it must be a trend we don't know. Um, we, we, you know, we don't do it, do we? But I've seen a lot of the playoffs where uh, people like to just, just, you know, hand off or step into distant presence and throw it. Yeah, you may may have noticed there was a little click then. That was me for a second. I turned my mic off to have a little bit of a rant because mm. <laughs> it wouldn't it would have been friendly on the air. So yeah, I wasn't overly impressed by that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tell you what I am impressed with though, Drick that scaven team looks scary he plays them well yeah he plays it so well yeah mm. yeah yeah but um, like I, I will it... never agree with his um, scoring free philosophy but fair play to him like we've had conversations and he says to me that he thinks people play Blood Bowl wrong that you should instead of like stalling or trying you know, like 1-0 half that you should just whenever you get the opportunity score and just trust in your abilities to defend. But mm. I think there's too many variables in defending that things uh, can just go wrong. So if yeah, you can I, manipulate I, it. Yeah, I, I think it depends on what team you're playing as well. 
and the, the calibre of your opponent. Obviously, if he thought Cass was bang average, then fair enough, you know, you yeah. go for it, don't you? Yeah, and just so. score for you. Yeah, well, that, that was my point to him, is, is that, like, you can, it's all nicely to say you should be able to score free whenever you want. When he, when he was saying it to me, he was playing his, like, Wood Elves, and, like, nobody scores as freely as Wood Elves, with the exception of maybe, like, High Elves or something. Yeah. So, yeah. you but can't, I've... like, go to, like, a movement. Like, well, I was playing, you know, Necromantic, yeah. I had no, no werewolves left, so it's like, I, I can't freely score with movement six guys. Mm, mm. Yeah, I mean, I think I think he was pretty... He, he thought uh, he, the game against Cass, he, he felt he was in cruise control. You know, he, um, Cass he was, was. And Cass, all the way Cass, through Cass, Cass was just biting on all these misdirections, you know, and he was just on cruise control. It was like um, a friendly, wasn't it? Like an exhibition match. So I can't... I can't yeah, it, it was. So no, I would have... And, I uh, would, um, I would have definitely would have um, scored. I would have put more than three past him, to be honest. If I was Drick, I thought Drick. Yeah, I was. I was, I was hoping for like four or something. Yeah, he, he definitely. I think he maybe like just took his foot off the accelerator after going two 0 up and well. Yeah, I think he was just doing protected his guys. I think he was doing some hoovering, washing the dishes, and playing at the same time. I think. Yeah. So you might as well multitask when you've got the game. I did appreciate the fact he uh, he took every every chance he could to stamp on the mind. So I appreciate stuff like that. I do, I do. He, 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 I think he was more to do with he wanted the compliment from you. I think that's what it was. Yes. Know. And fair play, you know. I know it's, it's, it's also class. like in that game that that was the uh, second game in a row that I'd seen Kaz run off from his players away. Yeah, it's yeah. It's funny, isn't Cause it? Cause I swear, I swear that somebody had a go at me for like protecting my players when I played him and, and securing the draw. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I must admit, I was a bit... Can we say I, I, hypocrite? Yeah, maybe we could do. If you say dog bother, I suppose you can do a hypocrite. And there's a failed pick-up there. I wonder if you'll push for three. Might as well. Everyone, I've seen these in a lot of threes. Mm. Why not? But, yes. Got anybody bit... that needs levelling up? Yeah, yeah just, just, just hit something with your Yeti. Come on. You've, you've checked out this game mentally, haven't you? <laughs> you're, you're out of it's like it's <laughs> yeah come on just hit, hit something, something. We get <laughs> this is the kind of in-depth like analysis that you get on Bernie's channel when he gets bored <laughs> hit something <laughs> yeti you <go>. <laughs> to start throwing random words out <laughs> yeah. there you go now, if, if you yeti admit that you never know I might have... come on the yippee oh here we go people's elbow oh even that fails can you remember when, when I played uh, Rambo and he and he and he piled on a KO into a stun? Yeah, <laughs> I think that yeah. was the thing that made me the, that made me most angry that I lost that game. <laughs> yeah. He was doing that stuff like that. <laughs> I was I was livid. <laughs> it, it, it was it was great because normally he wouldn't do that because he, he knew he was playing you. He thought, you know what? Why well, can I upset space? I'll do this. Watch this. Yeah. The only thing that would have been yeah. better would have been KO isn't good enough. Yeah. What would, have, what would have made you even more salty is if it was an injury instead. <laughs> KO to an injury. Yeah, yeah. That would have been worse. I think when you like pile onto somebody like on a KO that you for something greedier, I think you should automatically injure yourself. Like you just fall on your balls or something. Like still... <laughs> yeah. This is a friendly trap. But hey, you know, what, what do I know? Boom! Oh, the bad Oh, oh, well. oh cousin oh. going down. Judas is stunned. Oh dear! Uh, he, oh, re man. Re rewarded, rewarded. <laughs> Where? Oh, God. oh dear! He played oh, the frenzy trap so badly, and he still got the injury. But there you go. You see, that's what that's what the yeti can do, buddy. I told you, it's very important, is the yeti. He, he is. I don't like him personally. If I'm playing north, I'm play going to take the yeti. The yeti. I've got to play. I've got to play. Yeah, I take. Yeti. I don't take the. Yeah, I re rely on the whatever they call the Ulf Werners. Ulf Werners. The uh, two strength for yeah. yeah. But he's got claws. I think they're very good. Presence. Mighty blow. Get mighty blow. Yeah. I think the. I guess claw good... mighty blow. He's too yeah. hard to resist. But a uh, chance now to get one back and make it two one. Come on. Let's make it look close. Make it look close. Yes. It's all about making it look close. Come on. I think when he looks back at this, he will he will curse his... I'd like to think he'd curse his uh, messing about when he could have scored. This game could have been completely different Definitely. if he'd have done that. And there's an injury, a nice little injury. Uh, a nice broken Ooh. jaw. Why not? Does he want to use his apothecary on a broken do you, jaw? But, do you appo it on a missed next game? Oh. This late on, mm, probably. You're on seven, yeah. 
Yeah. It's failed though, so. Oh. Miss next game. Go to Poth Carry. To be honest, I see a lot of Miss next games never bloody work. No, that seems to be the one. Uh... The one way you never seem to get it back. No, so I, I try not now because I, I, I'm just wondering if it's a bug of some sort. Mm. You're in disturbing presence! Get it? That's it. <sighs> no, he's fine. Yeah, he's hand fine. Off, but I, had this vision. Fine. I had this vision he was going to pass it. Because, hey, All right. he's done that already. So I'm like, no! There we go. Come on, he can have a nice little sideline cage going. No, no, he can. I thought he might have done a sideline cage and just really secured it. Yeah, that would have been. I was good. mistaken. But you know, if it gets this guy out of the way, no, no, oh. not that way. Oh no, you're gonna eat this now, buddy. Bang, have a bit of that. Yeah, I'd, I'd have had to land it to be fair, but like you say, if, it, if it's new, like you can't really criticize it. No. I tell you what, I had um, I had Bazooka message me. I don't know if he'd have messaged you, but he messaged me. He <laughs> said uh, because I thought I'd exported the game onto my YouTube channel. You know the game we did with with his team, his his lizards yeah. and the the Leeds team. And, the Illustrious, um, uh, yeah, the uh, Guanas, yeah. yeah. And he, the he one messaged. I forgot we watched. Yeah, that one. Yeah, um, <laughs> and yeah, uh, he, he messaged me uh, today and said, "Oh, I." I I finally got to watch, and he said, uh, "I'd like to thank you in space. Thanks for you know doing the stream and 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 um, pointing out where I'd gone wrong and all that sort of stuff." And he said he's, he'd learnt a lot from our announcing, and said thanks very much. And oh, that's good then. And he subscribed to the channel, so you know that was good. So you know I got that early on today, so I thought that was real nice of him. And uh, it's you know it's good that you know coaches can understand we are actually if we criticise and it's to help them or point out where they've gone wrong. Yeah, you know, we're not here. Rather, yeah, that's how you, you know. want it to be taken, isn't it? You, yeah. you want him to be like, oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Now. You, you know, you were saying something serious just in a funny way as opposed to going, you're just taking a piss for an hour and a half decade. Yeah. I'm never talking to you again. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, he, he, was, he was really happy. And um, <sighs> obviously, if he wins the championship, he'll be thanks to me, Joe. So, mm. there you go. And we will get 25% of those glorious scions. I think so. I think that's I think that's a good rate. That still leaves me 50%. Each, 25% yeah. each. Yeah, yeah. If that leaves me 50%. I think that's fine. You know? Oh, there you go, Vanity Reroll. Oh, a little cheeky reroll. Yeah, have a bit of this. Boom. Why not? He had three rerolls, so I might as well. And have a KO as well. Oh, oh no, here we go. It. Just pile on. It doesn't, it, doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter now. It, I'm all right with that one. I'm oh, all right with it because it's a space you, you know 100% tribute. he's not moving. Oh, is it oh, is it the Rambo tribute? You decide. Ah, oh, the way to tribute to you two in your game. I've go. never played Rambo. I don't know what you're talking about. Never yeah. played him. <laughs> I bowed out this season. I thought it would be Did, yeah. like unfair for me to keep playing, so I just you know took one for the team. Oh, and, uh, he just took just one for the team, myself. okay. I'll <laughs> <laughs> let you pronounce that shit. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, you're like an innuendo machine. I, I, I could make a career off you if I was a comedian. I just need yeah, you could. just to like feed, feed me the lines. <laughs> Oh uh, dear. Have to leave you guys. Good commentary. Going to watch a Sweden versus Italy playoff game for the World Cup. The World Bloody Cup of Football. That's nowhere near as big as what we're showing you. This is premium top quality uh, playoff action, isn't it, Space? Yeah, this is this is Barcelona Madrid. This is El Clasico. Yeah. El Clasico, see? There you go. And thanks, um, Chelsea Zola, for uh, the follow. Now, I hope you all you lot subscribe to my YouTube channel. Come on, make me happy. You don't want me sounding yeah, like space. You need, you need your subscribers. No, yeah. no. Don't, don't make me sound like space. Come on. Have a heart, people. Oh, look at that. There's a push. Is he going to mark up the Yeti? He's a hippie. Come on. Yeah, disappointing. So, what's he going to do? You know, he's still got a chance to score, though. You know, if he, mark, if he puts them two guys up, he's marked all three up, he can... So do his shizzle design yeah. with his uh, jump up dude, his blitzer. You know, yeah, he's got a he chance can, here. He can hug the, he can hug the sideline because the yeah. guys are only in range to actually reach the sideline and not blitz, and then yeah. just leap away for victory. There we go. We'll do the blitz first. Yes. Why not? Uh, oh, go on. Is he going to get another injury? There's no apothecaries, and here we go in the face. 
Just a stun though. That's a cheeky stun. And it's yeah. Drama Queen it's who's on the Drama floor. Queen, apparently. <laughs> it's an well, in interesting name for him. Yeah. Aptly, he's rolling about on the floor. Such a drama. So actually, there's one on the floor called Yo Vanilla. I can't tell if that's racist or not. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 yeah, but it's team's called Ice Ice Baby or something, isn't it? So Vanilla Ice, I think that's what it's supposed to be. Oh, okay. All right, then. I thought he was... Uh... A little, a little pop at me for some reason. Uh, I hey, am very you're a racist now, Father. <laughs> <laughs> Dear me. It's classic. This, this is game. Join your age there. Oh, yeah. Good old Father Ted. Oh, dear. Last turn for the uh, Norse who go through into the next round and they take some more death with them. I'm going for a cheeky, a cheeky surf maybe with a jump up guy. No. If he, if he can, if he, if he can one dice block with the guard guy, brings him in, surf the guy off the pitch on a one dice. I don't know if that's worth it. It's got re rolls, I suppose. But you get no star player points for surfing, do you? No. no. There's your jump up. No, oh, here we go. Some more pain. And this is going to be... Oh, it might not. Oh, it's a knockout. Go on. on. Do it for pile space. On. Do it for space. Pile there we go. Pile Just on. for you, buddy. On an injury. There you go. He is rewarded. See, that's why Rambo did it. He knew. You know, he was just unlucky with Rambo. <laughs> Rambo just knew what was going to get the ones, and he just didn't give a fuck. He was yeah. just like, yep, yeah, he's going to fail everything. Absolutely no fucks given. It, you know it what, looks though? like he's giving in and letting him score. Yeah, that's that's nice of him, isn't it? That's really nice. Yeah, yeah I have a bit of this. She... Boom. Don't mind that. Yeti needs to start player points to level up and get him on. High blow would be very good for him going into the next round. That's fine. Oh, that's nice. Gets two dice for this guy. He can mark the, uh, the ball car up. To be honest with you... I just probably won't even mark him up. Boom. You know what? You are just absolutely him, right. It's like, you can have the touch. Let him buddy. score. Don't, don't sacrifice the block for the sake of it. Yeah. Are, are we going to see a little dance? Or a leap into the end zone? Be the entertainer. Come on. You're already out. Yeah, you know what? I, God, I, do, do a leap. I, yeah. I, I do would it put, in style. I put my guys near the end zone and then just leap over him. Because that's the way it should Go happen. on, lad. Go on. Oh, he's oh. gone for the traditional. 22 armor breaks, crikey! The Ice Ice Babies get 22 armor breaks to the 10 of the Gypsy All-Stars. Obviously, the armor was the wrong way around in that game. 47 That's blocks versus match. 32. And, uh, yeah, both killed one. So, you know, hey, mm. there we go. So there you go, um, 12 ones for the Ice Ice Babies and only 32 ones for the Gypsy All-Stars. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> only 32. And, and 51 twos to go with that 32 ones. So yes, one team certainly had a bit of a problem with the dice today. And um, well, there you go. Maybe that's the reason why you lost. But uh, that is it. I do believe Tizzle Bizzle is going to get his jizzle on your favourite um, dude, or favourite admin dude who does the great draws. He's going to now start that's round old. two. And um, for, for the rest of us, we can um, go on and play our games, I guess. And um, hopefully we'll get Space Magic back for his exciting, insightful commentary. And show yeah, him maybe you can get him back on. for a, a good game. That'd be grand. Yeah, I, I'll try, mate. I'll try. I, I'll definitely try. I think, I think the Let's cherry game... pick the draws, okay? As opposed to just doing the ones you can do. No, oh, we'll do it. We cherry do. pick them. You don't we need to cherry pick that, that, that was a quality game there. You love that game. You're just you're just no. you're just holding in that enthusiasm just so you know. That is a lie. <laughs> that, was a, that was a good quality two one. I'm sure you've learned something from that game space. I'm sure you have. Yeah. Well, congratulations to Slick Skin. <laughs> yes! Well <laughs> done, Sunshine. You are through to round two. Go on, lad. Go on, son. Let's have a look at this just before we go. Let's have a look at this wonderful um Second round. I wonder if he's he's quick and he's oh, done it already. Do you think he's done it already? I bet he hasn't, has he? I don't. So, I, I don't think he has. I don't think he's that quick, do you? But, no. but you can you can tell from the things yeah. like, who's going to what. So we've got Killer Croc versus Chofega. Then we've got um, Alyssa yeah, Guanas Bazooka 
who will probably win it now he's now he's got our wisdom, is against that flashing squishy Elven Union. The Goff Gars, Hero Jones, mm. uh, is against Polka King of the West, that Chelsea Zola. Then we've got the, the championship favourites to win the whole thing, the Cobra Skulls, the tough goblin team against some team called the Great White Shark. Some arsehole. I don't know yeah, who he is, yeah, but proper yeah. he, he's, he's obviously not very good. Uh, and then we've got I've... Grail Force 1 um, against Forge Hammer, so that's uh, Bretonians versus Dwarfs. Then we've got Not Doing Great. That game never happened. Got, oh, oh, not be, Doing oh, Great, you've got a bye in the first round. Oh, oh. A bye. <laughs> you got a bye, Bernie. You got a bye. <laughs> Who got apparent, apparently a bye because the Woofers took the ball home after their Wolf got killed by that awesome coach. Um, they yep. played. Tay, talking about bars, well, Bolog, do you, how would you pronounce it? Bologna? Bologna? Well, Bologna got a bye because the ball they looked through the toweling. So they're against. Yeah, it's Bologna, like. like Bologna, you know, there you go. Spaghetti and stuff. Yeah. yeah, so there you go. So it's Bologna versus Not Doing Great. That's the tie, what I'll have to get a really good announcer with. So I'm sure there'll be plenty of them. Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe Hunter will co-announce that with me. Um, and then we've got Family <laughs> War... <laughs> Captain Charisma. <laughs> <laughs> then we've got the Long Bowmen. I don't even know what they are. I think they're humans against the legendary... They're human. Ice, you know ice, what, Bernie? I'm going to say cool. this. Like, ice, ice. I think Long Bowmen might go quite far. Yeah. I, I played the guy who, was, who plays Long Bowmen, like the humans. And he actually, he's one of the, he impressed me when I played him. So... He, He's wow. a sleeper. Watch out for him. Is he? What's his name? Do you know his name? Can you remember his name? This coach? Can't remember. I just, just, um, I can't oh. remember. I just remember the team, and he just, he just played really well when he played well, me. Well, the Long Bowmen have got their work. Not got no, no. I tell you what, they've got the work out because they're going to play against the team we've we've just seen who we really, really impressed you. The Ice Ice Baby Two. So that's going to be a tough game for Long Bowmen. And finally. We've got the Blood Axe Clan against your boy, Dead Man Had No Tails, Elder Caveman, who got banned earlier on. Come on, he's Christian. Not good, he's not in a good mood, bless him. Um, Poor bastard. Know. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I spoke to him and played him, I think, the day before, and he was. If he, he, he sounded like uh, me when I went through that really bad trough. Obviously, I, I, then yeah. as, as kind as I was, I beat him 3-0, so that really made him a lot more happier. Um, and then, and then oh, yeah, I know, but, you know... I had to do a trick, didn't I? But then the next game, I looked at his, mm. I looked at his scores. I thought, oh yeah, he's back on his horse. You know, he's doing really, really well. And the next thing I hear, he's been banned. So it, it's gutting. It yep. is gutting. I, I, I felt for him timing. because he's a very good coach. I think he's one of those next um, tricks, space magic sort of coaches. I think he'll do really well. And I just hope you know he, he, he keeps at it. But he's still in he this. Sticks it, he's still in this, and he's got a good chance. I picked him to go through. I think you went for the Blood Axe Clan, didn't you? I think you stabbed your mate in the back. I want him to go through. I think the Blood Axe Clan is the best team. And it'll so be you're saying, you're through. saying, in your heart, it's Eldar Caveman, but in your head, it's a Blood Axe Clan. But you know what? Yes. I'm, on, I'm on the Eldar Caveman train. Choo choo. We're going all go the way to the maybe the semis when it gets knocked out by the Wolf Killer. Not doing great. So there we go. Yes, there we go. So we're all done, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. And obviously, thanks to Space Magic again for all the good stuff. Sorry for being late. It's all right, mate. Uh, Mutt Mutt is awesome about something. Yes, Mutt, believe it's advancing after this game. Yes, they're all happy. Um, Guys, let us know um, when you're having your games so we can try and stream some of them. And because we know Space Magic. Don't be afraid of our country. No, don't be afraid of our commentary. Yeah, our, our commentary is ace. Yeah. We've, already, we've already got Bazooka Lovely. almost there. I mean, Bazooka might actually win it now he's listening yeah. to us. So, you know... He's on the cusp. He's on the cusp of greatness, and we're on the cusp of a 25% cut of science, yes. Oh, so, oh, oh, we're on the cusp of a ban from Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Why would we get a ban? They should be paying us. They should I don't be, know. They should pay us, mate. They should. They should, they should give us our I'm own show. I'm always one frenzy strap away from like some kind of tirade that's going to get me banned from something. I feel like I am. <laughs> maybe the RSPCA, maybe? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. That could be it. That could be it. Right then, we are definitely going now. Otherwise, we'll just keep keep, keep talking. But yeah, let us know, guys. Most of you on our Facebook channel anyway, with Tizzle Bizzle's Facebook thing. So let us know on there. And um, stay classy. Have a good look out there. And obviously, someone kill that goddamn mano. And um, yeah. No, I don't... Anything else, space? Anything Sorted. insightful? Anything clever to say before we go? Uh, Who let the dogs out? No, no. Who let the dog... No. Yeah. 
who went in the dogs is more the question. <laughs> I think we, I think we all, I think we all know who's been. Oh in. no, we're going there, are we? We're going there. I don't know. Right, <laughs> yo, we're off, guys. Take care. See you later. And um, yeah. Bye. 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 See ya. See ya.